is about uh, saying that you don't necessarily need extremely large models. Okay, uh, you can get to problems in healthcare with a little bit smaller, more efficient compute. So efficient compute is the key word here. And another interesting thing that needs to be recognized is you take any data set, right? They're always long tail distributions. So you go like this, right? And any model, it will learn 60 to 70% of that distribution, right? Just imagine this. But the small tail, it always gets left out, always gets left out by any model. So one way to tackle the tailed problem is you take the smaller models that fit very well to that data and you make model calls and that's what this work is about. And then you can get to effective responses of much larger models and that's the story in short. Thank you. Tell us how you train the model. How we train the model, okay. So for training this model, uh, there is first self-supervised learning of vision encoders. The vision encoder training is very much standard. There are lots of ways like uh, mass autoencoders, etc. I won't go in details. Then the second step is aligning the image and the text, which is captioning the image. That's the most massive compute. For healthcare, very large data sets for pre-training don't exist yet. One open effort out there right now is Biomedica. Then the next step after that you get to is instruction fine tuning, which is where you're actually breaking it down into question answer pairs like, okay, uh, does this model, uh, does this brain have any kind of abnormalities or tumors and you design responses like this. So that's an example of instruction fine tuning. We have about 1.8 million question answer pairs in this all of these data sets and that's what happens here. The third thing that we want to leverage here is expert information, guided information, uh, instruction fine tuning. What that means is if you just give this image and you ask where's the tumor, uh, even the GPT-40 has a hard time telling where the tumor is because it's just this tiny blue dot, right? But at the same time, if you give the segmentation overlay, provide a red color and a blue color, which is coming from a segmentation small model, something like Vista 3D, then both the models will be able to learn about it. So we curated the data, we send in both the images and designed data that can cause the model to learn the smaller, finer features. So that's the training methodology for this.